here in YouTube land and welcome back to the channel and today it is Thursday so that means movie review and what movie did we see yesterday what movie indeed what a piece of crap fast X cue the intro Well, yes, unfortunately, well, we went and gave more money to the Fast and the Furious franchise. They are milking it all they can, and we are victims of that. Now, I've always been a fan of the Fast and the Furious movies. Uh, <laughs> I know they're a guilty pleasure. I know they're crap, but I did not enjoy Fast X. It was just too much. Uh, I was pretty terrible so yeah um, I mean I went there with the idea of I'm I'm gonna have fun it's gonna have cool, cool cars hot ladies uh, great fight scenes lots of bullets lots of dead people right awesome stuff and but I mean usually what they do in these movies is they have a plot that it's a little bit absurd but they make you care for the characters, right? And they tried on this one because they do have a good plot and uh, they present you uh, with the, the kid right now, the son. He's like the main uh, romantic character there or the, uh, the motivation for, the, for, for uh, Vin Diesel's character, Toretto. But, uh, I mean, it started out good. But little by little, it just crumbles down into a piece of garbage that, yeah, you don't want to spend your money on, unfortunately. So let's start right away with the, uh, the worst things about this film. Now, the worst things about this film, number five, it has to be with the, the script. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, they're not giving it a lot of effort now. And I understand when you watch this films, uh, these type of films, what you do is you get your suspension of disbelief way up but it at this point is just so absurd and so ridiculous you feel that you like you're watching a parody it's yeah so the whole script is just terrible you don't really care uh, uh, for, for any of the characters and especially the kid uh, I mean, it started out, as I said, well, but no, at the end, it's like, oh, man, uh, just kidnap this kid. I don't care. Anyway, number four on the list of bad things about this film, which are plenty. I believe me, this is a small list because it could be 25 million things that is wrong. Uh, but unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because I'm a big fan, but Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa on this film. Uh, the director, Louis Leterrier, uh, he didn't know, I guess, uh, how to control him, and he just was so over the top, which uh, for a movie like this, you say, well, it's fine. I mean, it is over the top, and it's going to be uh, overacting, right? But the whole gay persona that he created, I mean, I, I don't know if Jason Momoa doesn't have a good agent or at least a good friend with some sense. All that he has created over the years to make this macho persona and um, on him, I mean, as his image, a very masculine guy that you want to root for. I understand, yeah, you want to be a great big heavy, right? The, the great big uh, villain. But why do the whole gay weirdo thing? It was just terrible. It was hard to watch. I couldn't really understand why he chose that. And I don't know, it failed. To me, it failed miserably. I hated it. I don't want to see him do anything like that ever again. Uh, all right, so at number three, we have to go with Uncle Jacob's Batwing. 
and I mean the whole bat wings uh, scene it was just so ridiculous it reminded me of the uh, Batman uh, series from the 60s this is the type of level of camp and crap that this uh, franchise has gotten to right John Cena's I mean the whole character but 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 the bad wing saying scene it was just so ridiculous and so and then the CGI was so crappy it was just yeah I, as I said 1960s Batman stuff and that takes us then to number two which is another one of the 1960s Batman scenes the uh, Joker mobile that uh, John Cena's character Uncle Jacobs uh, comes up with it as well it was so stupid I mean really not even a uh, death race can come up with such a stupid car and such a stupid design and such a crappy uh, scene so yeah that's uh, I mean yeah I really hated this film for a lot of reasons it was uh, I mean just too much too much uh, uh, camp too much um, cheese it was uh, yeah terrible terrible film and uh, number one thing that is wrong about this film unfortunately has to go with uh, Louis Leterrier I mean I'm a great fan and but it's been a while since I've seen anything good from him and this film I don't know why they didn't get uh, st st uh, stuck with Justin Lin I believe it's uh, the director of the other uh, movies in the franchise or at least some of the movies he he was doing a great job on these films I don't know what happened they got if he got a uh, conflict of uh, scheduling or just got I don't know fought with Vin Diesel and the producers I don't know but Justin Lin did a, a much better job than Louis Leterrier did on this one and unfortunately they're gonna do another one because it's Fast X 1 part 1 and then part 2 which is another thing that uh, I was like you know what why I mean what but uh, but as I said they're just milking it as much as they can and for them well if people we go see the movie they're gonna continue doing these stupid things anyway hated the movie that is clear but no film is overall bad that doesn't have any good points now on this one it was hard to find anything but I did find three things that are good about this film and number three is well the fight scenes overall are good but the uh, fight between uh, Michelle Rodriguez's character uh, Letty and uh, and Cypher which is um, oh fuck forgot the name anyway Letty's and, and, and Cypher's fight is, is, is great the way it's choreographed and all these uh, I don't know different ways that you can see that both of them kick ass and for some reason Letty uh, who started out the franchise as being just a regular girl from uh, uh, <laughs> from the hood and now she can kick the, the butt out of an international spy agent uh, super villain from James Bond I don't know but it was it was entertaining to watch and then uh, at number two we have to go with uh, well Michelle Rodriguez's uh, ladies characters uh, bike so far I haven't had any place I mean I haven't found anywhere that it says what is the bike that she's riding it looks like a CCM Spitfire so I'm gonna go with that and I don't know it looks like such a fun bike to ride it looks like a pretty cool machine and but the stunts that they did on those uh, on that bike hey it was great I love that scene and I love that bike and the number one which brings us yeah to the number one thing about this film which is uh, the Harley Davidson Pan America custom built that uh, Jason Momoa actually um, well they, he negotiated the deal with Harley Davidson because he's a spokesperson for them and they gave him a Pan America so that he can customize and this is the type of bike Harley Davidson that we want so please enough of these sportsters with the uh, front uh, foot pegs and the front controls or the forward controls please give us a bike like this and we will buy it
believe me. I mean, I'm riding a naked bike right now. What makes you think I wouldn't buy an American-made naked bike that would kick some butt? Anyway, so that is number one about this film, the uh, Harley-Davidson custom bike. It was pretty cool. Well, that's it for today's uh, video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you enjoyed my rant for today. And uh, if, remember, if you liked the video, to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe, hit the bell button, and uh, share it with all your friends. If you don't like the video, well, share it with all your enemies. And I'll see you guys on the next one.